Hi everyone, I'm Katrina Rodriguez. My life with Jesus Christ was like a chicken running around with no head. I did not know what to do or what, which direction to take. I would constantly have bad rages when something bothered me. I would never know how to control my anger. I would just self-destruct. I would do foolish acts like self-mutilate my body, which means I would cut and burn myself. I would constantly rebel against my parents. I would go in and out of my house at just as I pleased. I would not listen to anyone. Uh, another problem I had was drinking all the time just to escape my anger, angry thoughts about myself. I just felt completely worthless. I, had con I even contemplated ending my life. And I did not know why I was feeling this way. I could even see how much I was hurting my family, my mom, my dad, and my sisters. But I did not care. I didn't care about my family, my friends, or myself. Then on September 5th, I was saved. I then became a woman of God. From then on, my life began to turn around. Why? Because God was by my side. But the thing is, he was always by my side. Even on my darkest days, when I would have these unwary thoughts, he was there for me, telling me not to end my life. As I began to hang out with the Giles family more, they showed me how great life is with God. In fact, Mrs. Giles bought me my first Bible. As a family, they helped me to understand God more than I ever did. Also, after being saved, I could not wait for Sundays. I love going to church now. I am dramatically changed after being saved. My parents and I have a fantastic relationship. Now they see a change in me and have forgiven me for my past mistakes. And now I walk with Jesus by my side. I have faith in him as he has faith in me. Every day I will continue to learn more about him and his word. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, life, death, and resurrection? Yes. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord? Yes. Do you understand that in baptism you're identifying yourself with Christ's life, death, resurrection, and now becoming a part of his bride, the church? Yes. Do you commit to follow him all the days of your life? Mm -hmm. Not only to be your Savior, but your Lord? Yep. Then in the name of Jesus Christ, on behalf of the church, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Father God, we come before you and we lift up Katrina to you, Lord. For today, she has confessed you as a public declaration, Lord, in her baptism. So, Lord, we ask for a blessing over top of her life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.